Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your audio with Filmora 11. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to separate the audio, how to mute the audio, and how to adjust the volume of your audio, as well as how to add the background music and how to use the audio ducking and audio keyframe in the software. Okay, so added to that, I will also show you how to add some audio effect to your, your audio easily with the software. So I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Okay, so if you don't have Filmora 11 yet, I will put the link in the description for you to download the program. And also I have 20% discount coupon code for lifetime license of Filmora 11 and 5% discount coupon code for annual plans. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm on my computer screen and this is my Filmora 11 start page. So let's create a new project first. Uh, I can just click here to create a new project. All right, and the next thing, I want to import the video that I have uh, for my intro video, okay? So I have it on my computer. This is a video, so I'm going to use this one. Just drag and drop it into the media folder, okay? So just do this. And now I'm going to close this one. And let's cancel the proxy also. Okay, so this is my video clip. I can just double click to preview it. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the timeline just uh, by drag and drop or I can just uh, hit this button. Uh, the plus button okay so now i have my video on the timeline so first up if you want to mute the audio of your video all you need to do is to select the the video on the timeline and then you can right click and go to the audio tab right here and you have the mute button and you can see here you have the shortcut to mute the audio which is control shift m so you can just select here to mute the audio this is the the video without audio Okay, so you can turn it back on with the, the shortcut control shift M and now it has an audio inside. Everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm... On the other hand, if you want to separate the audio with the video, you have the, another shortcut control on D to separate the, the video and the audio. So now you will have a new audio track here and the video track here. Okay, so I'm going to undo it and you, you can also right click right click at the video and then go to the audio tab and you have the option to detach the audio okay so it is very easy uh, by the way when editing audio in Filmora 11 you will have two parts the first part you can edit the audio directly on the timeline and the second part you can adjust the audio at the audio property okay so right on the timeline you can increase or reduce the volume of the audio with this line so you can just uh, click your mouse here and drag this line up to increase the volume of the audio okay so now the audio is louder uh, let's play it I'm going to show you how to edit your audio with Filmora 11 okay and you can just even lower the volume here so to this point maybe I cannot hear it anymore okay. It is very small. So that is on the timeline. So let's increase it a little bit so you, that you can see the audio waveform better. Okay, so just like this. And okay, and on the timeline, you can also split the audio, trim the audio, and add the audio fade in and fade out easily. For example, now I'm going to detach the audio here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and D to detect the audio so that you can see the audio waveform better. Now, if I want to, to split the audio, for example, at this part, I want to delete the first part of the audio here. All I need to do is to select the audio here and then I can just split it. And now I can delete this one. By the way, I'm going to turn off the auto repo. And now I can just hit the delete button to delete the audio on the timeline, okay? Now we don't have the audio here anymore. Similarly, at this point, at the end of the, the my uh, audio track, I can just split, split here, just select it, and then I can hit the split button. And now I can delete this one. And the next thing, if you want to add fade in and fade out to your voiceover or to your audio track, you have a button here, right on the timeline, small button, small white button at the corner. So you just click it and then you can drag it uh, to the left to add a fade in, uh, to add a fade out for your audio. We look like this.
okay and to add a fade in you can select here and then you can drag this little dot here all the way to the right so this is the fade in of your audio hello everyone welcome to my channel very nice right and at the beginning of the audio track you have a button here to mute the audio or unmute the track so the complete track will be mute or unmute you can click here to mute the audio of this track no right and you can uh, click here to unmute edit your audio with Filmora 11 okay so that is how to adjust the audio directly on the timeline and now if you want to add audio keyframe change your voice and and stuff like that or add audio ducking something like that you have to go to the audio property okay so it is also very easy you can just select the audio right here maybe you can just double click at the audio here or you can just right click and go to the audio tab again and now you have the option to adjust the audio so when you click at the adjust audio you will have a, an audio property here where you can change the volume of the audio by this slider okay so you can see the waveform here on the timeline it reduce and increase this is a, the volume slider and you can also pan your audio from left to right for for example this is uh, your left left ear Let listen just the left ears okay and if you want to pan it to right ear you can just do this one and now it is on your right ear very nice right and now you want to add some audio keyframe to control your audio track uh, you can also click here this is the, the keyframe button okay so you need to put your playhead at some point and then you can just click here to add the first keyframe this is the audio keyframe and now if you want to select another point here and then add another keyframe and now you want to go to here and then add another keyframe and now you can just drag the keyframe up and down to adjust the volume of the audio track for example at this point i want to just lower the volume uh, like this so i can uh, play it still on your right right ear very nice right and at this position there's no voice at all okay so i can increase it to normal or i can just uh, hit the delete key to delete this keyframe it's easy right and now i'm going to turn it to normal okay maybe you can just type the number here if you put it zero and then you reset it to to normal to center not on the right the right ear or left ear so that is how to uh, pan your audio and how to increase the volume and reduce the volume and also how to add the audio keyframe for your audio here on this side you have the fade in and fade out option for example if you want to increase the duration of the fade in you can just slide it this to the right and now the duration of the fade in is longer Nice. And the fade out also do the same. So we can slide to the the right to increase the duration of the fade out. Okay. Just go go down slowly. Okay. Okay. And the next option is how to change your voice uh, by increasing or reduce the pitch of the audio. For example, at this point, uh, I want to split it first and at this point, I want to split it and now I want to change the voice, change my voice at this uh, section. Uh, for example, I can increase the pitch by 5 and now you listen to it, uh, it will be something like <laughs> Okay, uh, what if I lower the pitch, uh, what the sound look like, or, or what the sound sound like? I'm sorry, okay, and we can reduce the pitch by minus 5 at this section, and listen to it. Easily with the software. So I hope this tutorial is helpful for you, okay? So if you don't have Filmora 11 yet, 
Okay, and if you want to reset it to normal, you can just click this button. And the same with the audio fade in and fade out. You can reset it also. And down here, you have the remove background noise. Uh, I'm going to reset this one to normal also. If, if your audio has some background background noise, suggest the, the environment noise. Uh, for example, at the beginning here, I'm going to just uh, reset the fade in to normal and I'm going to trim the audio to this side. Uh, let's listen to it. Obviously, my microphone is good and also my studio has uh, very little background noise. By the way, if you want to remove the background noise, you can check this box to remove the background noise like wind noise or stuff like that. Okay, so you can do it here by the denoising option here in Filmora 11. Okay, but I'm going to uncheck it. Uh, and the next thing in the audio property is how to lower the volume of other clip on the timeline. And this is very useful when you want to reduce the volume of the background music while uh, you have your character talking. Okay, so that's called audio ducking. By the way, I'm going to add a background music to my video first. So I'm going to close it and now I'm going to double click and then I'm going to import the background music. Uh, this one, so I'm going to open it and now I want to put it down here at the bottom. So you can see here, for example, we have a background music and we have my character speaking. Okay, so let's listen. The background music is very loud. Okay, so now if I enable the audio ducking, it will lower lower the volume of the background music so that I can uh, hear the characters uh, speaking. All we need to do is to select here and then we can press and hold the control key to select multiple sections of the audio track uh, like this. And then we can just double click and then we can enable the audio ducking feature here. So you can see that it lower the volume of the background music uh, at this section all three section here. Uh, let's listen to this part. So the audio ducking feature will automatically reduce the volume of the background music when you have the voiceover above it. Okay, so it is very easy. And you can also adjust, adjust the level, okay? Adjust the ducking level. For example, you can double click at the clip again and then you can Maybe you want to lower the, the background music a little bit more. You can uh, say 70% or stuff like that. You can enter. And now this, this is 70% and at this part only 50%. So you can hear the difference here, for example. To that, I will also show you how to add some audio effect to your, your audio easily with the software. So I hope this tutorial is helpful. <laughs> Very nice, right? And the last feature in this audio property that I want to show you is about the auto normalization option. For example, sometimes you, you speak too loud and sometimes you speak too sharp and uh, you want to balance it and normally you have to do it manually. But in Fimura 11, and uh, if I remember correctly, is it is available in Fimura 10 also. Uh, you can use the auto normalization to, uh, to balance it, to balance your audio. Okay, for example, here uh, I have the first part and the second part and the third part. I'm going to lower the volume of this part. So we have this one. Uh, we can increase the volume here. Uh, by the way, uh, this feature is not available if you use the audio keyframe. So if you want to use the auto normalization option, you have to delete all the keyframe uh, on the audio track. Uh, this one, for example, I can delete the audio keyframe here. Okay. And now I can select this uh, this audio and press and hold the control key to select another and select another. And now we can right click, go to the audio, go to adjust audio. And now we can turn on the auto normalization option right here. So just turn it on. And now the software will auto uh, normalize your audio. Okay, so let's play it again. Very nice, right? And you can see that the audio of this part has been increased. If I turn on the auto normalization option here, 
By the way, I have a separate tutorial on how to use the auto normalization option in Filmora. I will put the link right here or in the description for you. Okay, finally, let's go back to the audio property again. Uh, let's double click here. As we can see here, we have another speed tab right here. So in Filmora 11, you have a normal speed and speed ramping for video. And now uh, with the audio, you also have this a normal speed and speed ramping option. Okay, so we can select the speed. And now we have a uniform speed. We have you uh, increase or reduce the speed of the audio. Uh, for example, I can change the speed by increase the speed of this audio part. Uh, it is increased and now I can slow it down uh, like this and I can reverse the speed of the audio. Okay, so I can disable this one. And there is an option to do speed ramping for your audio also. Uh, for example, I can reset it to normal and now I can click this speed ramping. And now we have the customized uh, keyframe for our audio and also we have some preset for our audio also. For example, I can just click here to do speed ramping for my audio. So let's mute the audio of the background. So we let me see this one. Uh, okay, sorry. Easily with the software. So I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. So that is audio keyframe. With all this keyframe, we can adjust the speed of our audio easily. For example, here I can uh, slow down the volume, slow down the speed of the volume. Sorry. Okay, so let's play it again. It will be wah, 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 wah. Software. So I hope this tutorial is Okay, so you can also remove the, the keyframe with this button. So it is similar to uh, what you do speed ramping with the video. Okay. And finally, it's about the audio mixer. If you want to control the audio of the track here on the timeline or the volume of the video, stuff like that, you can click here at the audio mixer. So there are many things in the audio mixer that suggest you can increase or reduce the volume of the one video track or audio track and you can pan the audio to left and right, right and left and you can also change it from stereo to surround here and you can increase the volume of the whole project right here at the audio mixer option okay all right so that is how to edit your audio in Filmora 11 i hope this tutorial is helpful for you and if you have any more question about this uh, software let me know in the comment section below Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye and see you again.